So guys, I know for a lot of you, the news in the last video kind of just seemed to have come out of nowhere. And quite frankly, I'm sorry for the unexpected video, but quite frankly, it really needed to be said. And Resora definitely hasn't changed, but we'll get into that in just a minute. So I've sat on this idea for a couple of days now, trying to collect my thoughts and really see where I should go from here. I believe there are three points that we need to go ahead and discuss. Number one, how did this happen? What can we learn from this? And what should we do moving forward in the future? So to start off, how did this happen? That's a great question. Quite frankly, if you ask me, this was going to happen at any given time by anybody. It might have been surprised that it was me who came forward first because I just do news updates, but this was going to happen sooner or later. That much shouldn't be a surprise. Most people who were in my Discord saw him straight through his lies. But let's talk about that juicy stuff real quick. How did this happen? Because that is completely relevant in this conversation. I believe the number one thing that caused this to happen is not enough people called him out on his BS. We needed more people to call him out on this, and a lot of people just didn't want to because it was for the sake of drama. There's too much drama. We don't want to start drama. Okay, let me be perfectly clear about this, because I've been getting this message a lot, not just in my comments, but personal DMs through my Discord as well. A lot of people are telling me for this situation just to end because they want the drama to end. That kind of mentality is what lets tyrants rise. But even that aside, do you really think in your heart of hearts, in your deck of cards, that this quote unquote drama is going to stop Devil May Cry 5 from releasing or have any sort of problems? The easiest way to put this, if you watch me or JoJo Wi-Fi or Devil Never Cry, chances are that you already know about Devil May Cry and you just want more information on it. I highly doubt some random person searching the web on YouTube is just gonna randomly come across this sort of content when they know nothing about this video game. And most of all, for marketing, Capcom's got that covered. I think the game's gonna be just fine whether what we do or not is going to affect it. But that being said, let's get back into the topic at hand. This does need to be stopped. People need to keep talking about Resora because Resora didn't fess up. I don't think that we had enough people talking about this topic at any given time. This man should have been shunned out and quite frankly needs to continue being shunned at because not only is he continuing to wipe his ass with the DMC community, but he's likely just using that to grow his platform so he can do more stuff after Devil May Cry 5. And quite frankly, I don't think any of us want this. Hell, the man even started a new Discord server and just completely scrapped his last one. Probably because he didn't trust anyone anymore. This kind of merges with the next point. What can we learn from this? I think it's important that whenever we have somebody who consistently lies within the community, that we need to focus them down a little bit more. Now, not in a hateful or despiteful way, but there does need to be a little more attention there to stop them from continuing to lie, especially if damn near everybody knows about it. Look, every content creator I've asked and talked to already knew about this situation, but nobody was able to come forward because any given time someone confronted Rizora, he always denied the facts. And that's why I never confronted him and I made a video instead. There was literally not much that could have been done there. Guys, let's be straight about this. This doesn't just apply to Devil May Cry. Again, let's just put Devil May Cry in the back burner real quick. Let's talk just as communities, just as communities, this is important. If you go into any other community in the future and you have someone claiming they have some sort of leaks or footage or insights or anything, that needs to stop. While discussing this point, let's also talk about Rosora's response on the situation because that's definitely important. So I know many of you haven't been staying in the comment section of that video and following up what's going on, but Rosora, <laughs> his response hasn't been very straightforward. Here's his first response, by the way, and I quote, there are a lot of things in this video that aren't true, like faking accounts, me creating my own website, and my Twitter followers being bots. Not only that, but I don't control my IMDB page either. For you, half pint Katana Mills, to go this far and invading my private life, trying your hardest to bring me down, is really crazy. I don't know what kind of proof this really is, but it isn't worth it in the end. Blah, 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 blah. He really just goes on and on and on saying that you guys are a bunch of liars and everything you did is just in vain. Really? We confronted you and we were about to help you with your lies and start fresh and this is how you respond. And it gets even better. After receiving so much backlash in the comment section and just that one comment, here was his edited response. And again, I quote, What was said in the video is true. I'm going to disregard any sort of proof I have regarding the- And that's enough. 
Really? By the second sentence, you retracted the entire statement of what you just said. By the second statement. The comments then went on to completely chew his ass out, which was completely earned. 100% earned. Speaking of 100%, after giving it 24 hours, I made my own statement on the situation, basically saying that, hey, Rezora, I am no longer going to trust you, I'm no longer going to help you, go fuck yourself, as said on the timestamp in the video. He then responded with, I've always been a fan of Devil May Cry, I just wanted to be a part of the project, and I'm not the voice actor, yada yada yada. Devil Never Cry then asked him about the other 50 pages in the document that we made. He then came out and said, 100% true. Now, is he just saying that so he can get this over with, or is it all 100% true? Well, if you scroll down, you'll find his comment saying, I'm done with the situation. If it was a big deal, I would have made a video on you and half Pint. I don't care anymore is my overall point. And this is something that comes up quite a bit when anyone addressing about the situation. He just keeps saying, I'm done, I'm done, he's putting it down. He's not addressing the problem, and that is the problem. A liar never confronting his lies is always going to keep him on his tower of lies. That is the worst thing that could have turned out in this situation. He's completely ignoring the problem, and quite frankly, I don't think anybody should hold back on him. If you want to go on his channel, you want to bomb dislikes, I won't hold you back. You want to go on his new Discord, you want to ruin that too, power to you. I won't promote you to do it, but I'm not going to hold you back either, because quite frankly, he deserves anything he gets at this point, because he's literally just asking for this to happen to him, because he's not taking the time to apologize to the community or to debunk his own lies. He just says, quote unquote, there are contradictions made in the video that I'm addressing. Really? Is that right? I'm going to read this one comment that basically sums up the entire situation. This man was addressing Rezora, and he said, quote, I'm asking sincerely, what is the actual matter with you? What contradictions? You've been the cause of various misinformation, you've been bullshitting people multiple times, got caught red-handed with hard evidence that you still deny for some reason, and now you claim you are done and passed it and it's no big deal. If it wasn't a big deal, people wouldn't bother finding dirt on you in the first place and you wouldn't have this negative attention around you. You brought this on yourself. That's how internet works. If you're aiming to deceive people, people will find out sooner or later and they won't like it. Seriously, get out of whatever wonderland you've made for yourself and get down down to earth. You can't cause a shitstorm and just wave the hand like nothing happened. What is even worse is you can't sincerely admit you messed up. The only reason why you said everything stated in the video is true is not because you feel guilty, but because you don't care and want people to shut up already. That's not how it works." End quote. Quite frankly, I think there's a lot we can actually learn from this statement. Not only did he just point out every goddamn flaw that Rezora has had when addressing this issue, he even addressed something that we all should see as very important. The fact that Rezora keeps bringing up the fact that he doesn't care, he just wants the situation to be over, and this is starting to influence people to be the same. No, we shouldn't want the situation to be over. We should be knocking his ass for not coming forward and apologizing for using you guys. This is bad, okay? No doubt we all want this to be over. I want this to be over, and this is hopefully going to be my last video on the situation so we can go back to business as usual. But what's important is the fact that he's still lying to people, and after Devil May Cry 5, wherever the hell this guy moves on to, he's going to continue to lie. If I haven't hammered home the point yet of what's going on here, please tell me how I can do better, because for the love of God, this man is causing nothing but problems. We now move on to point number three. What should we do moving in the future? Okay, so for the last two points, they were a little bit more opinion-based, but for this third one, I think it's a little bit more important that we focus this one a little more head-on, because this one's important. Now, Devil May Cry 5 is about to come out. Sure, I don't think we're really gonna have any other problems coming out, and again, any drama caused between us YouTubers, if that's really what you wanna call it, that's not going to affect the game, okay? Don't worry about it. If someone exposes another YouTuber of a history of lies in the future, it's important we address these people as soon as they start causing the problems. Look, it's not okay for somebody to be lying to an entire community and get away with it this far. He was getting a lot of things that he wanted and was treating people as they wanted to be treated just to get his way with his lies. And that is quite frankly what disgusts me most about this situation. When it comes to any sort of community, not Devil May Cry, not any sort of gaming community, anything in the future, it's important we address the liars and call them out in their bullshit until they fess up. Otherwise, we get lingering problems like this one right now. 
The problem hasn't been solved, and it won't be until Resora fesses up. Again, I plan on moving on and going back to business as usual after this video, but at the end of the day, this situation will never rest until Resora comes out and fully admits he lies. Otherwise, his entire life will continue to be a lie. Thanks for watching. I've been Half Fight, and I'll see you guys next time.